the streets in anti-Mugabe protest today. Here is how it unfolded. On Tuesday, army tanks are spotted in Harare, raising fears of a coup. Early the next day, the army announces it's in control but denies a coup. Mugabe confirms to President Jacob Zuma via telephone that he is under house arrest. The defense minister and state security ministers arrive in Harare. The ZANU-PF youth leader apologizes for denigrating the military. The following day, the elderly statesman refuses to step down after behind-the-scenes talks. On Friday, Mugabe is seen in public officiating a graduation ceremony. Talks between South Africa and Botswana are dominated by the crisis in Zimbabwe. A newfound freedom on the streets of Harare. An exuberant crowd from across the political divide openly displaying anti-Mugabe sentiments. We're saying to, to our army, thank you very much for the peaceful intervention. And it's time for the masses of Zimbabwe to say Mugabe must go and must go like yesterday. We can't wait to see his back. And uh, today's solidarity is, uh, consists of every Zimbabwean. For us, it's about uh, a new beginning. For us, it's about the end of a tyrant rule. And uh, we are going to take our Zimbabwe back. Since last seen in 1980, when Zimbabwe gained independence, elated residents, even hugging soldiers, expectations are high that the 93-year-old leader will finally bow out. I'm Zanu PF, but it has been high time that Mugabe must go. He must go right now. Mugabe must go. We are tired of this Mugabe. He must go. He must go. We don't like him. Thousands also took to the streets of the second largest city of Bulawayo. This day marks um, an independence for us. You know, uh, we got independence from Britain, but um, all these years. We're under colonial rule from our own. So I, I just believe today it's a freedom day for Zimbabwe. As Zimbabweans embrace a changing of the guard, Sadek reiterated its opposition to coups. We wish to reiterate our commitment to support the people of Zimbabwe during this difficult period. A stable and peaceful Sadek region is in our best interest and Zimbabwe is a critical member of our regional community. We also reaffirm the African Union directive <coughs> against unconstitutional changes in government within the continent which all SADC members of states should abide by. The march in Harare culminated in a rally in the township of Highfield. Former Vice President Joyce Mujuru among the speakers. Despite the euphoria, Zimbabwe's immediate future remains uncertain. Mugabe's nephew, Patrick Zuwayo, is reported to have said the elderly leader and his wife are ready to die for what is right. He said they have no intention to step down in order to legitimize the takeover of the government by the army. Soldiers prevented protesters from converging at Mugabe's home. Janjitauke, SABC News.